Hi, I'm Jason Stahl along with Nadine Bata, and all week long we're going to be counting down the top 10 most engaged with content that appeared on BodyShopBusiness.com in 2022. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 association news stories of 2022. Professional associations like the Society of Collision Repair Specialists, the Automotive Service Association, the Alliance of Automotive Service Providers, and others within the collision industry are vital to shops, and there was plenty of developments to keep track of in 2022. Number 10 is Wisconsin Repairers Create Consumer Video on Copay. The Wisconsin Collision Repair Professionals announced they created a video educating consumers on copay situations for collision repairs. Number 9 is SEMA announces retirement of CEO Chris Kirsting. Following more than 30 years of service to the Specialty Equipment Market Association, SEMA announced that President and CEO Chris Kirsting would be stepping down at the end of January 2022 to enjoy retirement. Number 8 is SEMA to collaborate with Ford on all-female vehicle build. The SEMA Business Women's Network, or SBN, kicked off an all-female vehicle build and modified a Ford Bronco four-door wild track, a project that came 10 years after SBN led an award-winning all-female Ford Mustang build, which raised awareness of women working in the automotive industry. Number seven is California Auto Body Association to hold meeting on labor rates. The California Auto Body Association announced it would be holding a meeting on labor rates and what repairs could do about them, informing them on how labor rate surveys are conducted, the difference between a standardized and non-standardized survey, prevailing rate, and more. Number six is SICA to hold webinar on new normal in collision. The Collision Industry Electronic Commerce Association announced that it would be holding a webinar titled 2022 and the new norm in the collision industry, discussing the COVID pandemic and the U.S. economy and how it might affect collision repairs. Number five is SEMA Show returns with a vengeance in 2022. SEMA announced how the show kicked off with an industry breakfast highlighting the hottest new products and vehicles and a keynote address by entrepreneur, rally driver, and YouTube star Ken Block. Number four is SCRS study concludes blend time is greater than full refinish. The Society of Collision Repair Specialists published the results of their blend study research project concluding that the blending on average took 31.59% more time than a full refinish rather than the 50% less time allocated in the three IP estimating systems. Okay, we're down to the top three association news stories of 2022. Number three is... Wynn announces 2022 Most Influential Women Award winners. The Women's Industry Network announced the recipients of its 2022 Most Influential Women Awards, honoring women whose career achievements have enhanced the collision repair industry. Number two is SEMA announces new product award winners. The Specialty Equipment Market Association announced its Best New Products Award winners November 1st at the 2022 SEMA Show, Awards given to the most innovative and cutting-edge automotive aftermarket products that will be consumable in 2022. And the number one association news story of 2022 is... Kansas passes SEMA-supported classic car legislation. The Specialty Equipment Market Association applauded Kansas lawmakers for passing House Bill 2594, exempting certain modifications on antique vehicles from vehicle identification number, offense seizures, and dispositions as a critical step forward in protecting the rights of restorers and owners of classic vehicles in the state. So there you have it. We will see you tomorrow when we count down the top 10 product launches of 2022. See ya. Bye-bye.